you're having problems with the Focus Odin 5 F3 like I've been, where the middle's a little too high, I finally have the answer for you. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what I did to fix this 3D printer. Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm going to show you how I fix the Odin 5 F3 3D printer. If your middle is sinking down or the extruder is a little high and you're having this problem right here, where the paper, no matter how you get the corners, it just doesn't work, the first thing you want to do, check the wheels. I've noticed from the manufacturer that the wheels are a little faulty and they had problems. It made such a drastic difference. For me, it was the extruder that the wheels had to be changed out on and the bed. If you need to know how to do that, I have the video for how to change out the extruder wheels and how to change out the bed wheels. Those are gonna be listed here and down below. Now, if you've been following along, you know I changed out the bed. And I also have a video on that as well if you wanna check it out. It was not the bed. I was not having a problem with the bed. And speaking of which, I kinda of gave up on the manufacturer because they weren't getting back to me and it kinda of felt like, leave me alone. I left them alone and we're on week Five, where they were supposed to send me a bed and I did tell them that I bought a bed and I tried it and nothing worked So I guess they canceled my order or they're never sending me a bed. I don't know I'm not emailing anymore They didn't seem to care and I was really trying to help them and I really believe in this product And I think it was in their best interest to get as much information about this as they possibly could or at least Let me send this back to them so they could see where the defect was I recommended it so I'm gonna try and figure out how to fix it for the people that are like me, where you're stuck with this 3D printer. It's a great little 3D printer, but it has a defect in it, and you need to figure out how to fix it. Like I said, I recommended it, so I gave it a five, guys. I gave it a huge five. Really did like this printer, and like after 80 prints, I'm having problems. The middle's too high. I'm gonna show you what to do. The first thing you wanna do is go out and buy some of this. That's right, tin foil, guys. If you change out the wheels, we're gonna get some tin foil, and we're gonna pad the middle of the bed. And that's basically it. And I'm gonna show you the steps that I took to pad the middle of the bed. So let's get over to the 3D printer and I'll show you what adjustments you need to do and how much tin foil or how to figure out how much tin foil you need to put on the middle of this bed. Thanks to Duramic for this beautiful purple filament. It's a PLA plus, really great stuff. Easy to see on this black bed. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look for is this is what's probably happening to you guys. That middle is just way too high and it's almost like translucent looking. And some of the corners are a little messed up. So I just did a bed print without the tin foil on it. This is our outcome right now. We don't want that. So we want to build up the middle. All right, so that's the scenario we have with that. We want, we want to build up that middle. So what we're going to first do is take all this off, get rid of this stuff, and you can kind of see when you take them off, you can kind of understand like that's kind of what you want. You don't want any translucent. You don't want it falling apart. You want it to be regular like cylinders, if you will. Like this middle one, this is what you don't want, where it's kind of falling apart, you can almost push your finger through, that's what you don't want. That means you're not getting good adhesion. That's what you don't want when, it, when it's like blinds. All right, so I tried leveling the bed. You can see how to level the bed right here on one of my videos. We tried leveling the bed, it's not working out. Now, I also put less tension on this. I made it so that these are almost completely loose. I rolled down these all the way down so that way the bed would have a little bit more room to let stuff either bend. So depending on how it is, you might have to totally tighten these or you might have to totally loosen them. In my case, I totally loosen them and I move the Z axis, this little sensor right here. I wouldn't touch anything until you just try the tin foil method first. And if it isn't working, try adjusting the wheels, less chance of it to bend or it might need more chance to bend. So it's either totally tighten these down, then adjust the axis or totally loosen and adjust the axis. In my case, I had to totally loosen these and then put a half turn, you know, give it a little space where it's a little bit more loose so the bed wouldn't have too much torque on either end. So I had to do that. And if you need to adjust the X axis, it's one bolt on the one side. And what you do is you home everything. You'll see a little light on the sensor that shows that's where the, the stopping point is. So if you lift it up one millimeter, or in this case, it was 10 millimeters, you'll see it stops lighting. And if you have any questions about that, leave me comments down below, but I wouldn't get into that. I would just do this tin foil technique first, but if you see that this isn't working, you may have to do that. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take off these clips right here. Do that. 
And we know the middle is high. So we'll flip that over like so. All right, so what you want to do is get your tin foil. You want to take out some tin foil like so. And what I'd like to do is just take this piece of tin foil nice, cut off any edges. So we know the middle needs to be built up, and I also noticed that the sides. And when you do your, your test, you can see how some of the edges are higher or lower, and that's what you're gonna have to do. But what we're gonna do is take this tin foil like this. I'm gonna fold it over once, and then fold it over twice. Try to keep it as flat as you can, because we're just trying to build up the layer. We're not trying to cause more problems. Put this like this. Place this back on top. Clamp this down and try and figure out how high we need to go for the middle. So I did two folds. I know that's not going to be enough. Now we're going to go through the leveling process. Take that piece of paper and you can heat this up if you want to. It's not really necessary with this printer because we want to keep it tight. All right, it looks like I possibly got this on the first try. Four folds with a decent size, and it looks like it's pretty hard to turn in the middle. So I'm gonna try and level this one more time because I like to go about three times, and we'll do a test print and see if this works. All right, it looks like I didn't get it right this time. I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like we're still having lines in there, so we need to build it up a little bit more. So what I did was I made another square, and I folded this four times as well because I think this just needs a little bit more. So once over, and another one, and I'm just gonna put that in the middle because the sides are actually coming out really nice so I don't think that needs to be lifted up so I'm just making a little square I'm gonna stick it in there just waiting for this to finish printing it's a lot of trial and error guys you have to be patient with it and make sure you're going through the steps go around three times to level this thing make sure you get it right that way you're not wasting time by building it up too high or too low all right so now I'm gonna do it why it's hot I'm just gonna pull these off real quick well first let me get this off Ugh, complete garbage better but still complete garbage all right, so the bed's still hot. I'm gonna take off the pieces real quick. Just be careful if it's like this, because I wanna level it why it's hot. Okay, just be careful if you're gonna do this hot. Probably not the best way to do it, but I'm doing it that way. I'm gonna take my little piece of tin foil. Like I said, I did this four times, and if you see, it's just placed right in the middle there. I'm just trying to build up the middle, and don't worry about it, the glass is gonna flatten it out. All right, we'll take this plate, put it back over. Sandwich it down like so take your clips put them back on all right So everything's back on there. We're gonna go ahead and go through the leveling process now The middle should be built up more so I'm gonna check that right so now This is the type of drag you want in the middle you see how it's actually dragging and it's not just loose That's what we want and I'm gonna clean up the bed with some alcohol right here I'm gonna clean it off and then I'll go ahead and do right my there thing. is what I'm talking about that you see how it looks like? No no little see-through lines, no garbage. That's what you want it to look like. Is a perfect bed. Look at those corners. Look at that middle. Let's see if we get under there. That one. That could be a little bit better, but it, it's really good. It's way better than it was. And we could adjust this and make this better, but what a difference. What a difference. What a difference. I mean, it looks so much better now. What is this, three, four dollars now? I don't know, I took it out of my wife's kitchen. So there's like three or four bucks, get this. It took eight layers for me. So I just kept folding it over one layer after another after another. Finally got this printer working correctly. The big thing, like I said, change out those wheels if you see that you're having a problem with it just being unstable, because that's the problem that I had. It was unstable, so it kept changing. As soon as I changed out the wheels, it stopped changing. But the middle was still high, and this is how I had to do it. I had to use tin foil, eight layers. I did one lot wide layer that was folded over four times, and then one medium size that was folded over four times and it will conduct the heat the actual tin foil will conduct the heat through you don't have to worry about a fire or anything in that aspect it's tin foil it's meant to be put in an oven at 400 and something degrees or 600 and something degrees so it'll be perfectly fine it doesn't affect the prints I printed several square tests came out mint and I did this Millennium Falcon came out mint I did it in two pieces a side by side up and down and I did it on the focus and got it printing out 
pretty perfect, uh, I think. Pretty close. So if you're having problems with the Focus and the manufacturer's not helping you, like they're not helping me right now, and you can't return it, this may be your answer, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if this helped you, because I want to make sure that something I recommended, I showed you how to fix and got it up working. And like I said, it's probably just bad luck on my part. I just got a dud. It's just the way they handled that. And like I said, I got it for free, so I did not pay for it, but I just didn't like the way they were handling it. And me personally, if it was my company, and maybe I'm over exaggerating, I would have had the person send the machine back to me, whether I gave it to them or not, just to see what's wrong with that machine, to see if it was the person or if it was the machine, because that way you could figure out if there's manufacturing defects, where they're coming from, and so this doesn't cost you more money along the wise. And this is just my perspective from a business point of view and a customer service point of view. I think that was an important key point that they should have taken advantage of. And like I said, I haven't worked with any of these other 3D printing companies. Every printer needs some tuning, some fixing. At one point, they're gonna break down and you've gotta learn how to fix these. So this is kind of common in this field, unfortunately. Again, special thanks to Duramic for sending me that filament so that way I had a beautiful picture of purple to put against that black bed so that way you guys could see the difference in the bed leveling so that way you guys could get an idea of how to do that. And seriously, check out my video on PLA Plus. That stuff is awesome, guys. I would not recommend them if it wasn't great stuff. It's been printing amazing. I have tons and tons of spools of this stuff they've been sending me. Not one bad thing to say about it so far. It is definitely my go-to. I mean, if they didn't send this stuff for me for free, I would probably still buy it, especially for the strength. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. And remember to ring that bell if you want to get notified when I make another video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Damn it. That's going on the blue. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button's even better.